multiplex complexes. We would like to start the session directly with Q&A. We have no open remarks or presentation to make. This is done to give more time for all of you to interact with our CMD and directors and CEOs. After the Q&A, we, we have reserved some time for electronic channels. You can have your advice. Just paste the times because they have to again go for other programs. But maybe you can have your three, four minutes after the press conference gets over. So to start with, I request Chetan if you have time, sir. No, no, I said that we will have Q&A straight away. Okay, okay, two minutes. Okay, sure. Okay. Good morning to all of our friends, the people from the media. We are really thankful to you for having assembled in this big room box and uh, having an interaction with you. We would like to make the interaction as productive as possible. And no, not audible. Yeah. You are, you, are able, you are able to hear me? Yes, no, you are okay. Now yeah. So, to start with, uh, we had a very, you, uh, well, very memorable for last 15 days. As you are all aware that the reason last week we had the inauguration of our largest helicopter factory in Tumkuru by our Honorable Prime Minister. And followed by that, now that we are having an Air India where we are trying to showcase all our products. And uh, the HAS has been today, we are in a very comfortable situation and we are in a very happy frame of mind to meet you all. I, I, I mean, in the sense that the last three years has been it, this Atmanir Barbarat and then the self-reliance and the recent geopolitical situation have all bringing good tidings for the defense ecosystem of the country in general and the HAL in particular. Today we are quite comfortable with our order book position, almost 84,000 crores of orders we are sitting in and our orders in the pipeline also stands at a very healthy figure of 50,000 crore plus. And we have got many more projects lined up and the focus has been in the last two to three years, the more focus from HAL point of view is that we have the R&D part of it. We have started allocating additional funds to R&D and we wanted to see that the program, because now that the indigenous nation and the self-reliance drive, drive is going on, we are going to get benefited and we wanted to focus more on our R&D products. As you could see today, we have got a range of our indigenously designed and de uh, developed the products flying in, in the, even in the yesterday's air show, uh, right from starting from the trainers and then the fighter aircrafts and then the helicopters, the range of helicopters with the LCH, LUH and our old uh, advanced light helicopter which we have delivered more than 300 plus number. So which would mean all in all uh, we are, our uh, sort of uh, uh, products in our stable keeps increasing and we hope that, that with the thrust which we are giving to R&D, we will be able to come out with more products and uh, one of the recent uh, additions have been today is uh, what we have focused in this current era and has been this uh, HLFT trainer which is going to be a new R&D product which we will be hoping to develop in the days to come. So all in all, it seems to be a very good uh, platform from which HAL can further launch our products and see that the growth which we have shown in the recent past and with the sort of range which we are trying to uh, expand, we will keep moving forward and we will be able to uh, uh, I mean, establish uh, ourselves as uh, continuing a major aerospace industry not only in India but also as a global aerospace company in its real sense. And we are also trying to develop the public-private partnerships with ecosystems in the defense industry being becoming very strong. And uh, we are very confident that the participation of the private industry joining hands with the HAL is going to be strengthened and we will be involving more and more uh, into the private sector with the sort of projects which we have on on. We are confident that more space is there for everyone to Thank you. Yeah, we start with checking times of India. Sir, good afternoon. Uh, to your left. So two uh, two questions. One uh, with this renewed focus on R and D, HL has been announcing newer products at least every two years in the last six years. It was sport in 2019, 
and CATS in 2021 and now the HL, HLFT. So what is the status on the other two and uh, do you uh, see any uh, demand from the armed forces or are you looking at markets outside? And the second question is, uh, what is the status of uh, K226, the joint venture that HL set up with Russian helicopters? It, there seems to be no progress on that. Has the commercial negotiations begun? Or is it now shifted to G2G, if you can elaborate on that? <coughs> because the HL Tumkur facility, one of the major reasons for that is also to produce this helicopter, but there seems to be no progress. Uh, answering to your first question, yes, uh, as you are aware that all the project, I mean, programs which we have initiated in the last three to four years, r and programs, uh, it is all progressing and it is progressing at good uh, pace. And as you know, the r and programs, it will not that it can happen uh, it, will, it will take its own time. But we are, now that we have got a defined time plan, we are trying to follow it more aggressively with the programs. And the CATS program is also quite going on quite well with the participation from some of the startups which we are uh, involved. So our, we will be able to, all the programs which we have launched, we are, we are monitoring that and we are uh, sure that once the product development takes place, then the role of customer and the demand from the customer will come through. Customers have definitely shown interest in many of these programs and uh, like the HTT40 when we started, uh, the customer has started without uh, sort of sanctions from the customer we started and today you could see what it has, uh, what it has been, how it has materialized in orders. So once we are convinced about the, uh, the capability and the need for the product, we go ahead with the R&D not waiting for the customer sanction and once the product is proved and established, the customer we are confident will be able to, we are confident the customer will uh, take interest into that and come into that. That is as far as the R&D programs is concerned. As far as the second question on Kamu, yes, there has been a joint venture which has already been established and we have the joint venture also has submitted its code. And the Tumkuru facility, originally it was designed to include Kamu. Now also there are sufficient capacity available in the facility. If the project comes through, we will be able to do the Kamu, the manufacture over there. But as of now, the, we, we are there for progress in the sense that the submission of code has been done and now further actions, whenever as and when it comes, we will take it and move forward. Okay, next, Rajiv from Rajasthan Patel. <laughs> Uh, sir, good morning. Yeah, uh, sir, last year uh, HL uh, LNT Consortium ka ek, uh, NSIL se ek, uh, karar hua tha PSL bhi ke liye. Uh, ek, the sum at 60 crore. Sir, kya progress hai aur kis tarah ke efforts chal rahe hain? Kab tak hum uh, expect karte hain ki ye, uh, ye jo PSL bhi hai HL Consortium ka wo aayega. Dusra sir, uh, tum kuru facility ko lekar ke hai. जैसा कि आपने कहा कि कैपेसिटी हमारी बढ़ी है, तो आ, क्या उस के कॉन्टेक्स्ट में ऑर्डर का क्या सिनेरियो है, क्या एलयूएच के लिए कोई बड़ा ऑर्डर आने वाला है गवर्नमेंट की ओर से, आ, उस जो कैपेसिटी जो बढ़ी है उसको कैसे एक्सप्लोइट करें? In respect of your question for LN, HL, LNT. Uh, collaborative arrangement for uh, PSLV production edition. In fact, that is the first major milestone what has achieved after the space reform has taken place. HL as the lead partner in the consortium arrangement with LNT has signed that agreement with NC, New Space India Limited, for production of PSLV vehicle. This is a trial project I can say for which five numbers will be produced by each other. We have to have a sort of clear work set arrangement between HL and uh, LNT. The liquid part will be produced by HL and the solid one by LNT that is purely based on the competencies what we do have at present in terms of supporting for this PSLV production of ISRO. We have signed agreement. We have initiated the process because it is the first time this industry will be involved for production of this uh, sort of uh, vehicle from beginning till end. The process is on 
and I'm sure as per the contractual agreement, what we are planning to sort of deliver it during the next year, next finance year, that will happen. The next question, I leave it to see. The Tumkuru uh, facility, today we are capable of uh, the phase one for programming of the uh, facility capacity, it has been done. We will be able to start with 30 helicopters as we have planned. And uh, in course of time, when the phase two is getting over, we will be able to enhance it to 60 numbers. And depending on the demand capability, I mean, demand capacity, demand if it is going to get generated, then probably we will be able to enhance the capacities up to a peak level of 90. That facility is capable of going up to a peak level of 90 helicopters. And uh, we will be able to do that once we generate the sufficient demand in those uh, category of helicopters, we will be able to do that. And as far as the orders are concerned, as you know, the, there is already a letter of intent existing for poor numbers of uh, LUH and this is going to be found up and followed by a bigger number of orders from the uh, I mean, customers and uh, we expect it to, uh, to start with, it could be around 200 numbers and maybe in due course of time we can go up to 400 numbers and apart from that, this LUH we are also trying to get its civil certification of uh, the air helicopter to be over. Once it is getting civil certified, then we expect gen to generate a demand in the civil market as well. So we, and uh, this is as far as the LUH and uh, apart from that, this facility is also capable of adapting itself to other models of, uh, I mean, other programs of helicopter programs like your IMRH and uh, the I mean, FCH if required. So, all in all, the facility at helicopter division in Bangalore and the Tumkur facility will complement each other and will be able to meet the demands as and when it comes. Up to a maximum of 90 in Tumkur, the existing facility in helicopter division at 30. Those of the back, you can come in the front. There is some space over here. Okay, my next speaker from Manipati, Economic Times. Uh, sir, Manu Pavi here from Economic Times. Uh, sir, my question is on the trainer ecosystem that HAL has been uh, making, sir. If you can give us an update on what's the status of the LCA trainer deliveries uh, to the forces, uh, what is happening with the IJD, and uh, on the new trainer that you've unveiled, uh, have there been discussions to uh, make specifications as uh, with the Air Force? Uh, what discussions have you had with the Air Force regarding uh, the viability and the future of that project, sir? The uh, <coughs> LCA trainer, uh, the first aircraft is ready. Um, coming to your uh, question about the IJT, we have uh, fixed the problem which was uh, uh, in terms of stability. And uh, with the change uh, in the aircraft, we have done the six turn spin and uh, that has been successful. So we are confident that in the coming year, uh, the IJT uh, problems, we will be able to do all the spin certification and that will move forward differently. Coming to the HLFT that we have uh, shown uh, in the store today, uh, today um, many times uh, earlier we used to have the customer proposing a requirement and we used to design for that. Today we are going one step ahead and looking at gaps in the uh, customer's requirement in proposing a solution and then it all sort of evolves into a final product. So HLFT is like that where we are saying we are looking uh, at a low cost leading fighter trainer uh, with a lot of simulation capabilities where we will be able to simulate the cockpits of different aircraft uh, whether it's a Jaguar or an NCA. So it will, we are uh, uh, basically pitching for a low cost training solution, but which will also have the capability of uh, getting into an arm drone. So today this is at that conceptual level, we are doing the conceptual design basically and uh, once it comes to a certain maturity then we will move forward with the, uh, the customer and refine it first. Snehesh from the print. Hi sir. Uh, so you mentioned that uh, you already have 80,000 crore worth of 84,000 crore worth of orders and another 50,000 crore which is in the pipeline. There are a lot of projects which are in the pipeline. Uh, you have the Tejas, uh, the first trainer has been uh, has been manufactured. 
you also have the Tejas Mark 1A, then there will be Tejas Mark 2, then there is a twin uh, engine deck based fighter, then AMCA, and then the series of helicopters. So, would the HL be able to take all this project and deliver on time, or are you also looking at uh, probably tying up with private players, you know, uh, uh, like the other companies which are already into the same system? Are you looking at that prospect also, or would everything be done in house? But today we can say that with all this project being on our hand and what the entering projects which are likely to come, we have created sufficient capacities and in fact the capacities today as of as it stands today, uh, we, we can take further workloads as well. So we do not anticipate any sort of uh, uh, difficulty in executing all of these orders. We will be able to take more orders, in fact more uh, projects are in the pipeline which we are trying to initiate. That is on the one part. And second part is that as far as the private ecosystem is concerned, we have already in very uh, big way we have engaged with the private sector. Many of our, uh, like for instance LCI, if you take, there are already the entire structure is being made by the private sector. So all in, I mean, this would all mean that it is not that HL is uh, more in, will more interactively engage with the private sector in the days to come. But not in, it could be in different form. Not necessarily it needs to be only by way of uh, partnership, but partnerships also are evolving in some of the cases. But uh, we are also having uh, the partnership with uh, the tire one, tire two vendor system sort of thing where we are trying to create the ecosystem so that the supply chain will be more effectively coming from the private sector so that our capacities can be released for uh, the other purposes which HA would like to. So we do not anticipate any difficulty in executing these orders in timeline. In fact, many of the recent uh, executions which has happened have all happened before the scheduled date of deliveries like LCH and now LUH and now we are getting into that groove and we will be in the days to come. Our delivery timeline is going to be ahead of what has been agreed with the contract schedule. So the delays are the things of the past which we don't anticipate because today we have uh, created sufficient supply chain, we have created sufficient ecosystem and we are also having a complete project monitoring system to see that the deliveries are made in time. So we don't anticipate any problem as far as deliveries are concerned. Ajay? Uh, to uh, sir, just little uh, timelines if you could give on the LCA, you would test find the LCA Mark 1. When do you expect it, uh, production to start with the first delivery? And sir, update on the IMRH, Indian multi Road Helicopter. And sir, when do you expect an order on the NUH? The Tumkur facility has already come up, there is in principle approval. Have you been given a green signal that when is the order expected on the NUH? Please sir. Yeah, LCA Mark 1A, the 83 contract which got signed in the last uh, Aero India 21, which has got a time schedule of T0 plus 36 months, which would mean that in February 24, we have to deliver the first aircraft and all our activities are going on as per schedule. This uh, build-up of aircraft has started and the systems are getting certified. So we are uh, very hopeful that we will be able to meet the delivery timeline of the first aircraft getting delivered in uh, February 2024 and we have the augmented capacities in both our LCA divisions and we are also trying to augment the capacity further elsewhere so that all we will be able to deliver uh, I mean, uh, more than the delivery schedule 16 is what the peak delivery which we will have to make as per the contract but we would try to see that the uh, contract is executed uh, uh, ahead of schedule so that uh, the, we can release the capacity for uh, the additional requirements of LCA Mark II which would materialize by then. Now as far as your uh, IMRH. 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 Uh, for IMRH program, yes, we have started the concert when PDR is over and we are trying to move ahead with the design program and uh, in fact uh, shortly we will also be finalizing for the engine part of it uh, with uh, one of the OEM workshop agreement is in uh, progress and we will get the announcement uh, shortly. So as far as we wanted to see that the engine also the manufacturing design de development and the manufacturing happens within the country for which we are trying to have a tie up with the foreign OEM. Uh, we will uh, we will come to know of it in the next few days and the program as such we have started the design program now once it is we will make a detailed project report and uh, submit it to the government and take it forward. Uh, uh, this is as far as the <coughs> IMRH program it is progressing well and we will be able to as per the schedule to uh, timelines, we will be able to complete the program. LUH, on LUH, we are executing that, that contract will get signed and we, the further orders on LUH, we do, we are expecting it to, in a, in a customer to initiate the 
uh, AON for uh, getting the AON and then subsequently to follow it up with the other processes. But notwithstanding that, once uh, these uh, 12 numbers are uh, delivered, we will continue with our production capacity because the process of signing the contract could take time. But we do not want to really wait. We want to initiate our activities and we want to continue with our uh, production programs. As I mean, in the Tumpur facility where we have started, the operations will continue. And uh, sooner or I mean, the question the contract signing is only a question of time, which we expect it to happen in the next one, one and a half years. So we will not wait for that, we will continue with our operations in Tumpuru as we have started, we will continue to do that and build the aircrafts and keep it ready so that the moment contract is signed, we will be in a position to deliver the aircrafts. Ajay Shukla. Customers, you said, it's quite a number, you want from Army or from Air Force? It is six each, six from Army and six from Army. Yes, sir. Ajay Shukla. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, sir. I have a question that sort of is at the heart of your helicopter conundrum which is the conflict between the Kamo project, the joint venture, uh, and the, and, uh, the light utility helicopter. So you have two babies, which one of them are you going to keep? If you, uh, if you sort of pursue the Kamo case very strongly, you get less orders for the LUH and vice versa. So uh, what is your sort of institutional response to this uh, completely unusual situation? where one agency has two uh, things in competition with each other. And uh, second uh, question, if I may, Atma Nirvar is the flavor of the month, and flavor of the year, maybe even 10 years. Uh, in your gate, you've got uh, sort of the LCA as the centerpiece of this Atma Nirvar. <coughs> But apart from the NCA and the helicopter projects which are going very successfully, are there any sort of less seen but extremely useful Atmanirvar projects that you are pursuing and on which uh, you would say that there is a great future? Yes, sir. Uh, as far as your first question on the sort of uh, conflict of interest, as you would uh, be calling it, I don't think there is any conflict of interest, there is enough space for everyone to be there. But notwithstanding that, one thing which I would like to clarify is that Kamo is a HA is one of the JV partners along with the Russian helicopters. It is an independent entity as as it is, and it is also bidding for the Kamo helicopters. And HAL also is building the LUH helicopters. So we are today focusing on LUH as far as HAL in Dumpur facility is concerned. We will make, I mean, produce that. As I have told, the Chita Chetak numbers is quite large, so that the in case if Kamo is going to come through also, then also we will be able to uh, I mean, take that on and uh, in the same facility, the, the, the JV also will, have, will be part of the facility and they will be part of the ecosystem being created by HAL today and they will also be able. Of course, there will be, depending on the customer's requirement on which one is the most preferred, we will have to go with that. But we are uh, we are uh, anticipating that LUH also will have a good potential and Kamo also will be a potential in case if that uh, processes are completed and if it is going to happen. So that has all been, uh, even when we have conceived this LUH project and when we were preparing this Tumkuru facility, we, we had uh, uh, sort of uh, created the capacities to take care of both the requirements in case if it comes. So uh, I, I hope that clarifies. Rahul Singh? No, second. Uh, second question. Yeah, Atma Nirbha, yes, as of today, we have really, and I can say that in the recent past, we have definitely been one of the biggest beneficiaries of Atma Nirbha. Now we find that there are requirements from the customer, uh, I mean, uh, more requirements will come through, but as far as HL is concerned, like the recent uh, HNFT, what uh, today we are in with, we hope that that will be it, uh, I mean, part of this Atmanirbar initiative. We will also be able to provide a domestic a better trainer to the customers to fill the gap, what has been explained. And uh, apart from that, now the time, yeah. Which trainer are you no, not HDFT. The HLFT, which is our leading fight jet trader today, what we have uh, showcased in our uh, thing, we expect that will also be one of the products which we will be able to. And beyond that, the debt PF is another opportunity which will come through. Then your LCM Mark II is there. Then, of course, AMCA is going to come through. Then IMRH is there. So, I think that we have got sufficient projects to do it indigenously within HEL. These projects will be able to 
get to know that. Uh, just to uh, add to that, you see, uh, the image of HAL that you see is an aircraft company. But if you see, we uh, have divisions which are producing the accessories, the avionics, the brakes, the hydraulics. We are a vertical integrated company over seven decades. So what you see is only the, the, the bigger picture of the aircraft. But we have all this. And in each of these, the government has now defined PILs, which is positive industrialization list where uh, imports will be proscribed after some time, progressively from 23 to 26 and 27. So in each of these we are now pushing, we have now given uh, roadmaps to the government of India for each of the platforms that we have where we are going to push the indigenization content forward. So it's anywhere between 54 starting going up to 60, 65. So uh, over the next few years, this is happening on multiple fronts. It is happening on uh, outsourcing of the fuselage and so on uh, to the private parties and development of LRUs indigenously with the private sector. So uh, the Atmanirbharata is going to happen in all parts of the aircraft. So uh, even the existing aircraft that we have, the Su-30 and the Dorniers, this indigenization move is there. So we are going to do a lot of uh, you know, indigenization uh, activity in the next few years. So, so Rahul Singh is saying from Hindustan Times. So my question is on the APF. Uh, I believe the PDR is, uh, has been submitted. It's an important project for the Navy. Uh, the, the 25 watt fighters are a stock cap arrangement. If you could give us some timelines and what progress has been made and when do you expect to uh, sign the ACA mark for contract? Uh, the TED BF, I think um, the question would be better answered by ADA probably. Uh, on the LCA Mark II, today the project has been sanctioned uh, and uh, today we are already progressing with the build of the aircraft. We expect to roll out the aircraft in December 24 and all the sub part uh, are getting manufactured, the LR is getting ordered. And in uh, by uh, third quarter of sep uh, 25, we should be having the first plane. Third quarter? So, third quarter of 25, we will be flying the uh, LC Mark II, and the certification will start. So we expect uh, the certification to happen in two to three years. Okay. That's the timeline for so the, the engine on the Mark II, sir, the old one or the new one? It is uh, the G414. That will be on the LC Mark II. Kalyan, Dekhani Run. Sir, can you give us an update on the Tapas deal? Is it the same as the Rustam UFV or is it in some other application? Can you give us an update on this? I think the same way. I think you better address the question to DRD. Yeah, next chain from aviation break. Just push it up. program and the, the road ahead for that and um, also do you anticipate additional orders for Tejas coming? AMCA program, we are uh, DRDO, ADA is the development agency, HL also is participating there and uh, the build of prototype, we will be there actively involved into that, but uh, the program is driven by that. And uh, as far as the LCA Mark II is concerned, again, uh, Mark only additional orders, as of now, we have got an unexecuted order of 83 numbers. We are focusing on that, and we are hopeful that once the delivery timelines are met and the product is proven, the, we are sure we will be getting additional orders because there will always be a time gap between the completion of LCA Mark 1 and subsequently to take up with the Mark 2 to come into commercial production. It is, it is going to take some time. I mean, so there is a gap, a two to three year gap will be there. So we are expecting some more orders on LCA Mark 1 once this is done. Who must be making financial yeah, uh, good afternoon, sir. 
Uh, I'm Huma Siddiqui from the Financial Express. I, uh, there's a lot of focus on exports of NCA and helicopters. So can you give me the status of what's going on with Argentinian and uh, Malaysian requests? What is the position now? And what is the position uh, with Egyptians? The Egyptians also came here before the president arrived uh, for the Republic Day. So uh, we were, uh, I mean, we have got good leads for LCA from various countries and in fact in Malaysia we are one of the shortlisted companies. We were very hopeful that we will be, uh, I mean, taking that contract. But uh, there has been a slight setback in that in the sense that it looks like that uh, the other uh, participant has been uh, short, uh, shortlisted. Two companies out of eight HALs, Tejas was one of the product which has been shortlisted along with the Korean aircraft, but it looks like now what we are hearing, even though we have not received anything in black and white, we are hearing that the Korean uh, sort of like get the order, but notwithstanding that, still we are making our atoms to push through our product as well. As far as Malaysia is concerned, Argentina and uh, Egypt, definitely they have shown interest. Argentina also has been, uh, two teams have been visited us and they are quite convinced about the product, they are quite happy about the product. They can, I mean, the Air Force team has come and then they have flew the aircraft also. So we are also again pursuing the leads with Argentina. In fact, we want to start some sort of an initiation with Argentina because uh, some of the car, one of the smaller contracts is also likely to get signed shortly to be followed by the expectation of FCA order getting through. Now we have, apart from that, Egypt, yes, they have shown interest. They, in fact, we have been uh, ready, I mean, rather offering that we will also establish the local ecosystem over there so that that will facilitate their defense industry ecosystem also picking up and uh, uh, improving. So we have offered uh, that sort of a proposal also. We will have to wait and see what it will happen. And we have also got leads from Philippines as far as the helicopters are concerned. And we expect that is also, that, that, that again we are a little positive on that. We will be able to uh, get to know the confirmation maybe in the next uh, few one or two months. So the all in all, there has been a lot of interest getting generated in the global aerospace market with the various countries on HAL products and especially the stages and then the helicopters. And we are sure that sooner or later, later we will be able to have some breakthrough order after which uh, it will be real uh, uh, exciting days ahead. So just one, uh, sir, yeah. one, no, cleric, no, no. one clarification. Uh, you talked about a, 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 a contract being signed, a small contract with Argentina. What is that contract? That pro you'll come to know in the next few days. Yeah, I think so Atul mentioned defense technology. Uh, in the latest parliamentary standing committee report, the Air Force has mentioned a large number of Sukhoi 30s are grounded. How is it possible that after 20 years of production here, manufacturing from raw material phase and MRO, the Air Force has a large number of these aircraft are grounded? What steps are being taken to ensure the fleet returns to serviceability? And can you comment on Hawk engine rising issues uh, for which the contract now is being reduced on the Hawk train? Sukhoi, Sukhoi, yes, we are, uh, I mean, uh, we, we, are, I know, we have not gone through the report as to what it is, but uh, definitely we are taking all the I mean, actions, we are not allowing the, the aircraft to get grounded. In fact, we have gone a step ahead and uh, trying to improve the uh, ROH facility. In fact, ROH, which was happening at 12 numbers earlier, which was improved to 15, repair and overall of aircraft. It has now gone up to 20 numbers. In fact, the turnaround of time, which was earlier, almost 30 months, it has now been reduced to 15 months. So we are trying to take all efforts to see that the aircraft AOG situation will not arise and improve the fleet serviceability. Uh, and uh, as far as we know, the customer is also appreciating the efforts being taken by HAL. And uh, your uh, question of not uh, getting rounded, uh, I'm not, maybe our COMC can add. Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, actually, uh, there are certain issues on uh, bearing period and uh, the investigation has been done. It's not that the fleet has been grounded, but uh, uh, corrective measures have been taken. Actually, uh, certain uh, suggestions we have given for the users to take care of uh, certain certain ages, certain technical uh, clarifications we have given. With that, uh, the, there has been no issue afterwards. So, the problem is resolved. Poonam from Navarat Times. The Hawk engine life. Yeah, on the Hawk engine life thing, we had some problem problem with the turbine blades. Uh, it has been short lived. We are in discussion with the Rolls Royce 
to give a solution for this. They are working on that and then they give some solution which is uh, get, we are discussing with IAF also on this. And uh, it is not uh, specific to uh, HAL, I mean India alone, it's a worldwide program uh, phenomena. So hopefully we are, uh, we'll be getting a solution shortly. Uh, yeah. No impact on the Jaguars, right? With the engines the no, it's uh, Adur 871. Okay. It's a different engine. Okay. Uh, sir, I will now about the time save. Sir, Argentina and Egypt, numbers about the number of numbers in their service. The curtain raiser PC, the Raksha Mantri has said that the Tejas will be able to do the work of the Tejas. So, what is the work of the Tejas? What is the work of the Tejas? And what is the work of the Tejas? What is the work of the Tejas? What is the work of the Tejas? Yeah, coming to LCA program. Okay. Argentina is around uh, 15 aircraft. We are discussing about 15 aircraft for Argentina. It's about 15 aircraft for Argentina on fire. Egypt? Egypt, we, are, uh, we are given a rough order uh, sort of a proposal to them. So we are proposing around 20 to them. So we are. Uh, a to hear from them and uh, we will be discussing with them further on this. And as our CMD earlier pointed out, they are also, they're also interest, interested in setting up an ecosystem there. For that also we are given a proposal and we are uh, discussing with them on this. Can you uh, specify which aircraft exactly Argentina and Egypt are interested in please? Thank you. Argentina is on LC. LC. Project Saga. Is there interest in Philippines as well? Any talks with Philippines? No, no. We'll be. Uh, it's, it includes uh, tra trainer and uh, fighter also, but we'll be proposing them at one knee. So, second question. Yeah. Give it to others, Yeah. Sir. So, so, this is Pradeep Sagar from India today. Can you give us a little update on the, the CATS warrior? Sir. This is Pradeep Sagar from India today. Can you give us a little update on the Cats Warrior, which was the showstopper in the last year? Yeah. Yeah. The Cats Warrior uh, <laughs> development is underway. We are, the first step of that, we are doing the Kiran UAV, as you are aware. Uh, we are going to uh, put a pilot initially, uh, man in loop, and later it will become an autonomous. So the flight control software, the automatic flight control software, we are developing for the Kiran UAV and that will transition into the warrior. So the basic warrior uh, development is already, uh, the configuration finalization is going on. So we will be uh, coming up with that in the next year. But the initial uh, software development for the flight control system is happening on the Kiran UAV and those systems will transition to the uh, catch warrior also. So, yeah, you can ask him and get some I think we should close it. We have many questions answered. Thank you very much. Very well. Sir, just one question. So, just one question. One question. One question here, sir. The HL42, uh, you know, that's on static display. Yesterday I had a picture of the Lord Hanuman, which was removed today. Any particular reason for putting it in the first place and then removing it today, sir? No, uh, this is uh, something which if you look at, there was a aircraft called HF-24 Marut earlier, right? So it, it was derived from that. There is nothing, no specific meaning or uh, uh, anything to be uh, derived from that. It was simply, simply from HF-24 Marut is the basic. But now so the pilot is removed. Now today it has been removed from uh, there. That's a question. Sir, did you get the order for the HD-240 from the IAF? Sir, what was the reason why it was No, re reason was that it is being, I mean, the intention of putting that it is for showing the purpose of that aircraft and then we thought subsequently maybe that may not be very appropriate, so we have to Sir, what is the order? Was there any objection from Sir? Objection, no. On volition. Today we have had the internal discussion. We thought probably that it is too premature to assign any this is because as what our director of uh, engineering, I mean, R&D has explained, it was just to show uh, earlier Marut was there which has been designed to HA. So this is an extension of that. So we thought. Raja Bhushan gave preview of your previous picture. Badu Ali. He more or less gave the same figure like, you said now 84,000 is a quarter book down. 
He was telling 83,000 uh, including uh, MC Mark 1A of the meeting. So what exactly is the breakup? Is it the same one or is it addition to that you are saying 20,000 crore in pipeline? What exactly is the broad breakup? The, it's not clear. No, no, no. The 84,000 or 85,000 what we are talking about is the outstanding order book as of today. In fact, uh, the earlier CMD and uh, well, also we had similar numbers, but we have been able to know that we have been executing a major portion of these orders and we get additions to those orders. So it is that it will, some of the orders we have completed and some new orders have come through and that is what incidentally the number happens to be 84,000 so it looks similar but it is not the same. It has been some liquidation has happened in case of some orders and additions have happened in case of additional orders. This doesn't include HCT 40 which we will be signing it that is another 6,000 crore. So we have got confirmed orders of almost 90,000 crores as of today. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. We have, they have another thing. Sir, does Health have any plans for any giving at a compact moment after the season? Then we'll have this session with the team. We can close it. Thank you very much. Because of time constraints, we have.